Hi, this is Paula from CHNE. Earlier this week, a Syrian family of three, Mohammed, Hibat, and the four-year-old boy Zain, arrived to Shady Camp to make it their home. They were sponsored by a group of volunteers, Lifeline 224, who are helping them to get established. They welcomed the family at the Sydney airport late Monday night. Hi. Hello. Welcome to Canada. Hi, Zain. Hi. I spoke with two volunteers who have been helping them out. Howard McKay, who also participated in the sponsorship of the last Syrian family who arrived in 2016, and Rahme al Nassan, who was welcoming her brother Mohammed, sister-in-law and nephew to the area. Here's their conversation. So tell me about the family that arrived this week. So basically this week it's Rahme's brother that arrived, Mohammed, uh, his wife Hibat and saying they're four-year-old and came in at what, 11.30 on Monday night at the Sydney airport. Very exciting to see and great smiles all the way around. Yeah. yeah. How was the trip? Um, was hard a little bit, but when they, uh, uh, when they were in Canada, they were so happy. They had a very long day. They left uh, 11 on, I think, at 4 o'clock in the morning, yeah. through to Frankfurt, Frankfurt to Toronto, and then Toronto to Sydney, all in one day. So with a four-year-old, that's a long day. But yes. they looked uh, very happy coming off the plane. I think happy to have the journey over. Yeah. yeah. And you know. they, uh, they moved from Lebanon uh, at Sunday at 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And I think this take 24 hours mm -hmm. from Lebanon to Canada. Mm -hmm. Are they from Lebanon or are they from Syria? All of us, we are from Syria, mm -hmm. but we moved uh, to Lebanon when the war started. And we live in Lebanon. Uh, our families, it's my family and my husband's family and uh, my uh, my brother's wife, his, her family, it's everybody now in Lebanon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, wow, that's a long trip. Yeah. So tell me about, uh, the, about the volunteer group that helped families come here. So on the committee, there's myself, Lenora Timmons, Jenny Earcart, Sydney Crawford, Annette Lelieve, Velvet Matina, Heather Davis, Carolyn, my wife, McKay, Jeanette Chessong and Michelle Willette Batet and Rami and Mahmoud mm -hmm. Al-Assad. So a very, uh, it's a group that represents the community. We've done a lot of fundraising over the last three years to be able to get the families here. And as we mentioned, the first family just arrived on Monday night and we're hoping that Rami's cousin and their four children yes. in the not too distant future, somewhere between me weeks and months to, will be able to arrive as well. Again, their permanent residence permits are already in place. It's just a matter of being able to get their flights reestablished, their paperwork redone after the issues and going on in Lebanon with the explosion just recently. They were set up to come here back in March. Everything was ready to go. We had flight details and literally we're two weeks away when COVID kicked off and everything went on hold. But we're looking forward to having them all here. Well, originally the committee got started by the first group, which was Paul DeVoe, Alfred Poirier, Marcel Bourgeois, Donna Timmons, and Christian Doucet, and they were the ones that brought in Mahmoud and Rama. Uh, and again, they saw what was going on in Syria, heard about all the refugees being in places like Lebanon and Turkey, and really decided they wanted to do something to help. And so they got together, started raising money. Janette and I got involved at that time in some of the subcommittees helping out and um, just saw how successful it was. Rami and Mahmoud arrived in the middle of a snowstorm in February, I think. Yes. Uh, so a quick introduction to Cape Breton weather. Um, and w with their arrival and just seeing how successful it was, and I think it was also very heartwarming for us to see how the Shetty Camp community quickly adopted them and they became part of the community. And it was just very exciting to see them purchase their home here, live in the community. And I think that opened up my eyes to it being a real win-win for both the people that were coming here and for our local community because what we need here is young families. 
Uh, so that enticed me to get more involved and help out and try to bring in some more families and then we reconvened into the newer committee to try to do that. So tell me, how do you like Sharika? It's a very nice place and uh, uh, a beautiful people here and quiet and everything is very, very nice here. Yeah, I'll be so happy in Shatika. And you arrived in February, right? That yeah. was quite a quite well, a shock. It was big, uh, big storm and very cool. And mm -hmm. When we moved from Lebanon, was it's uh, warm weather from Lebanon, and when we be to Canada, when when we came to Canada, it's big change. It's from uh, hot weather to cold weather, and yes. And we, uh, when we wake up in the morning and uh, we saw the big snow, and it's first time we saw the snow here in Canada, <laughs> especially in Shatikam Hill. Yes. And how do you feel that your family came this week? We feel so happy and we so excited to start a new life with them. And yes, it's everything now. I think it changed a little bit because we have another family yeah and now you have somebody else to take care of as well yes yeah, <laughs> yeah. so tell me about the process or of bringing families here it's the PSR process which is the private sponsorship for refugees that we've done for the second and hopefully soon the third families and basically <coughs> the way that process works is it's entirely done by the community for raising the funds to look after the families for the first year that they're here. And the Shetty Camp community has been very generous with helping us raise those funds that we've been able to accumulate over the past three years to do that. And also, I think the when you look back at what's happened with the other refugees that have come to Canada, this program actually works very well because the communities have raised the funds for the camp for the people to come and settle here, the communities then tend to adopt the people that come and they're very much part of that community and seems to work quite well. So it, so far so good and I think uh, we've seen how well it's worked with Rama and Mahmoud yes. and we expect nothing less from the next two families that come in. Yeah. Yes. You talked about this a little bit, but why is Shetty Camp the right place for this project? I think Shetty Camp's the right place for this project because to me it's a real win-win in that the families that are coming from Syria via Lebanon need a new beginning, they need opportunities in their life. And one of the heartwarming things that I've seen from Rama's family coming in is, I think it was three or four months after you arrived, we were, mm -hmm. came to visit you one day, yeah. and we were talking to your children, to Abdul, Ruja, Rua, and Lujain, and just asking them what would they like to be when they grew up. And I think there was a dentist mentioned, there was a teacher mentioned, there was a pediatrician mentioned. And for them now, all of that is possible. They can do whatever they want to do as they grow up if they're willing to work hard and do it. Whereas when you were living in, in Lebanon as a refugee there, there is no real future. It's just survival mm -hmm. and how to yes. get through to the next day and the next mm -hmm. week. Yeah. So to be able to offer a family that opportunity for their children yeah. seemed very important. Yeah. And also, what do we need in Shetty Camp and in the area here? We need young families. There's too many old people like myself. We need younger people coming in. And this, to me, it just makes such a win-win for both sides. And especially when a lot of these families are going to want to stay in the area. Mm -hmm. so. Why is it important to help families out? Well, from our perspective, my wife and I, Carolyn, we actually lived in Syria for about five and a half years and we got to know the people there and how friendly and how nice and how good family people they were. And for us it was just an opportunity to give a little bit back when we moved back home. And uh, when we moved back we felt we'd probably be working. We saw what was happening in Syria at the time with the war and wanted to help out and felt that maybe there would be a group in Halifax that we could work with or something. And then to our surprise, we get home, we're back for a week or two, we looked in the local paper, and here was an article about a group in Shetty Camp being set up to run to bring in Rama and Mahmoud. And so we quickly contacted them and started volunteering from that time. 
So again, I think it, it's good to be able to offer opportunities to other people. We're able to do that. And also, as I say, I think it's good for the local community to have some young people move here and settle here as well. Any advice for, for, the, for the new family that's coming in? I, I want to say it's uh, here in Shatikam, it's a good place. But uh, in in the winter time, it's very <laughs> cool, and yes, and in the summer time, it's very very nice place here, and um, I think they will will very like to stay here in Shadika. And I think something to warn people too, and you probably saw it yourself when you move around. You have the honeymoon period when you first arrived at the place, everything is new and exciting, and then, you know, three months down the road, it's a little bit, why did I do this? This is not as good as I thought. And just to warn people as they do come here that you will go through those ups and downs, and that is just normal. That is mm -hmm. part of a move, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you guys went through it a few times that you looked at yeah. Mahmoud and said, why did we do this? <laughs> and, yeah. How does somebody who wants to participate, how do they sign up? Who do they contact? Uh, Basically, we have a Lifeline 224 page set up, and if they, people could go to that, because especially with the first family coming here, and hopefully the second family before, um, not weeks to months away, would like to get some more volunteers. So if you go to Lifeline 224 Facebook page, leave a private message with us if you're willing to volunteer to help out, and it can be anything from helping with transportation to get them to some appointments, potentially some babysitting if it's required, or, you know, people that would have children approximately the same age that would like to get to know and play with some of the children. If you're willing to offer even some social opportunities that you're willing to take the families with you on a trip or a hike in the park or whatever else, just so they get to know the local area and the people more. So anything you think you can offer, put you know, contact us via the Facebook uh, Lifeline 224 page and we'll keep record of that and contact people as we think we can use them. Anything anybody would like to add? The main thing I'd like to add is a thank you to the local community. I mean, Shetty Camp has been so welcoming to Mahmoud and Rama thank and you, we look forward to their support for the new families as they come in and everything that they can do to help them. I will say thanks for everybody um, from we came to Canada till now, we say very, very thanks and we hope still uh, together and thank you everybody. You can write to us at chne.television at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.